my guest bathroom and we're doing a pack my postpartum cart with me um i went shopping today i went to target i went to walmart and i got all these little goodies to pack my cart and i wanted to do it with y'all so i'm actually gonna move out of here because it's a little tight it's just a half bath so i'm gonna move into my daughter's nursery and we're gonna jump right into the video we are in my daughter's nursery please don't talk about her nursery not being done okay so we're gonna get into building this cart. Oh God, y'all, I am 34. 34 weeks pregnant, I be out of breath. Everything, y'all gotta bear with me. I got my yoga ball back here. I was gonna sit on it, but look at this bump. Mm. Six more weeks to go, y'all, six more weeks. Hopefully she come before then. She gotta go out of here. I feel like she's gonna try to be a little Virgo baby, which is fine. But um I want a Libra. I want a Libra girl. But okay. Yep, there's boxes. It's a lot going on in here, but we're gonna get through it. I got this cart from Joann's for like $20 because I had a, a coupon. I got two. So $40 for both of them. I got this today from Walmart, the Freedom Mom postpartum recovery kit that comes with some disposable postpartum underwear. Cool and absorb uh, instant ice maxi pads, soothe prenatal cooling liners, and relieve, relieve pain with the perineal healing foam and it comes with a caddy then i also picked up these maxi overnight pads um the reason why it's open is because i made pad sickles with half of it if you want a video on that let me know and i got the always discreet underwear i thought this would be better than destroying or going through a bunch of underwear so that's just my opinion and then up here i use this for the pad sickles some aloe vera gel and some witch hazel those are in the freezer and of course the freedom mom peri bottle the upside down bottle all right and then the cart so I'm gonna try to get a better angle for y'all and we're gonna go ahead and start assembling this cart. Because like I said, we are still going through emotions with her nursery. As y'all see, the crib ain't even up yet. And this is her accent wall. Her name is up there, but name reveal coming at birth. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open the Freedom Mom. Postpartum recovery kit. You know, I was in the store thinking, I was like, what if I have to have an emergency C-section and I bought all this for nothing? <sighs> My heart. All right, y'all, here it is. The Freedom Mom Postpartum Recovery Kit. Um, we open this up here. It shows you the steps of what to do. Of course, we're using the Perry bottle, the undies, then the... Um, the ice pack, the instant ice pack, the liners, and the perineal foam. And then it has this here. I like this setup. It, it's real fancy. I got this for, might as well say $50. Okay. When you open it, here is everything. The bidet for your bidet goes here. And I bought that, y'all. So, you have to buy it separately. Separately, it was like... I think $15, $14, I can't remember. But here it is. We're gonna open that up. Here are the cooling pad liners. Then you have the perineal healing foam. Then the four brief shorts. The disposable underwear. 
And then the four ice packs. They're instant ice packs. And then once you get those out, this is actually a caddy inside. Here, let me get this out. Here's a nice little caddy for all your goodies to go in so that everything is easy and accessible. And I will be utilizing this. I'm not gonna be extra and go out and buy something to put all this in when they just gave me one. <laughs> so the Freedom Mom, of course, is gonna go on the top and we're gonna go ahead and put in all of our the schooling pad liners, the perennial foam, disposable undies, and all four of our ice packs. Last but not least, the upside down period bottle. Then here I'm gonna add my witch hazel and aloe. And I also have like uh, my dermaplast here and my tux. My hospital provides that so I didn't buy it. I'll just bring it home from the hospital. But so far this is how it looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the underwear. I got my disposable underwear in a large because I wanted it to be comfortable and not too tight. So I'm gonna put these on the second row. And then with my extras, I'm gonna just put these at the bottom and just restock as I need them up here. So y'all, I moved into my bathroom just to show you how accessible it is. I'm currently sitting on my toilet. I do not have to go far to get any of the items I need. It's just all in all perfect. video I know there's gonna be some questions about this period bottle you're probably gonna be like okay the hospital gives you that why did you buy that why did you buy a new period bottle well I heard the one at the hospital is a little not hard to use but it's a little awkward to use um, it doesn't have the angled little thing here like this one and it's just more so straight so you have to kind of angle it and spray yourself as with this one you just hang it upside down, put your water in it, and spray it. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I know it was short and kind of brushed. Um, I was also going to add packing my baby's newborn bag, but then I was like, well, let's just do our bags in the same video, right? So again, thank y'all for packing my little postpartum cart with me. Okay, let me get focused. <laughs> and I am 34 weeks pregnant baby girl will be here any day now and I'm super excited for that so we're definitely going to finish up her nursery in these next week this next week so yeah bye